Cats are crazy, definitely. They were, yeah, he likes to pull on this like dresser thing I have and make a lot of noise. But uh, today I wanted to play some Minecraft instead of like Stardew to get a new game going in here and show off what I've been doing. Your dog is just chilling and passing gas. <laughs> that sounds like my sister's dog. Um, oftentimes, like, she'll get too excited and playful, and then she lets it rip. And it's so bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's all good in the end, though. <laughs> She's a lovable pup. But I wanted to show you guys, this is the, uh, mod server for, uh, Liz's stream. Not many mods play on here, but... Yeah, it's fun. I, I might as well show you here. Oh, well, mine doesn't let <laughs> playing, usually sleeping. She does that as well, but she has more of a tendency to do it when she is excited. But yeah, I'll show you my little base of operations here because this is what I plan to be working on while I'm here. Yep, the Elven Witch's Valley. It's work in progress because I plan to do something down here. Currently, I'm just growing some dark oak trees to work on the base. So what I did with the, my little cottage here, I wanted to make it very simple on the outside. But, and like very simple, very quaint on the outside. Let's, very, very simple. Not much work or not much detail, I guess, on the outside. Oh, thank you. And then you head inside. It's very quaint and simple. Hello. I plan to add a lot, like, plan to put more carpet over here to break up this dark oak. It's hard to tell it's dark oak with my texture pack, but yeah. My single player game, my house is mostly underground. That's exactly what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, but first, like, here is the small room I have. I'm going to put carpet up here. And then just my enchantment area up here. This is what I've got up here. Then, like you were mentioning, underground base, that's mainly what I'm doing for all my big stuff. That's why I went down far. <laughs> um, it's gonna be down here. This is like the short little hallway here that I've got. This wall is also going to be made of the polished black stone, stone uh, chiseled blocks. And <laughs> thank you, Jude Crispy. And then down here, it's what I'm clearing out. Ran into a little cave here, so I had to light that up. That actually uh, helps me quite a bit with clearing out the space. But what I plan, as you see here, is that I am making a massive circle. This is going to be like a center room kind of place. Then there's going to be pathways that way, th that way that way and then some diagonal ones as well so it's going to be branching off into several different areas to be more elaborate. This downstairs area is going to be, the center room is going to be the hardest because I'm carving out an entire uh, sphere so the center here like where we're going to be walking is going to be a like floating platform. So yeah that, I have a lot of clearing out to do that I need to do. That's what I plan to do a lot. Thank you! I like the idea, I just need to plan it more. Like, I haven't chosen all the blocks because I know I have to clear out a lot of the area. And that is the biggest thing I need to do first, is actually clear out all of this uh, stone dirt, everything, to actually get a working area. This ironically right here is actually the cave that I ran into for the base. Here we are. Here's the base right there. So, more than likely, my base is going to run into like the imp little bit of a mine. I'll have to show you mine. I don't have a theme for it yet, but I like some of the features I added. Yeah, you totally need to show me uh, yours. That will be awesome. 
I would definitely like to see your builds. Yeah, so down this long staircase to uh, Y15, where I was getting all diamonds and working on doing that. Just branch mining the entire time. This is where I just like keep all my stuff. Let's just get nine to make a bunch of iron picks. I keep all my minerals down here because whenever I go mining and get more I can just chuck them in. It just makes it a lot easier. Then you can hear my far <laughs> through the wall. So this is my quaint little farm. Even though it's really small, it gives plenty of food, so I don't complain. And then all the sheep in here. <laughs> and my horse. I plan to uh, also do more of an elaborate build here with this cliff face. We'll do another another game and do it in survival. Survival. Oh yeah, this is completely survival. No commands or anything. But yeah, this entire cliff base. I plan to build something out of it as well. Uh, I'm still designing that myself. Myself currently uh, sketching that out. What I want to possibly do with this, and how to tie it into the rest of my base. I feel like you could make an ATAT out of that. True. But I don't think it would go with the rest of my base, the aesthetic and everything. It would just be random. <laughs> it would be a very random piece. So, let's... Um, I need to grab oak wood. Yep, we're just going to make some picks right now so we can actually start working down, down uh, in the base. Okay, let's get that. There we go. My inventory is going to fill up so fast. <laughs> but, eh, it's okay. I can use all the resources. Besides, if I ever want to do other builds on here. Because I do plan to at least make another, like, a mob farm. Because I did find a, zo a zombie spawner. I'm probably going to incorporate that in my base depending where that lies. Like, because I think it's at a similar Y at the moment. And I believe if I keep going that way, I will run into it. That I will run into the mob spawner and then I could just have like an entire room to just grinding XP. Uh, I still have a lot to plan out with what I'm doing with all the rooms as well. Because like I need to plan out how do I want to do the storage room? How do I want to do all these different kinds of rooms I'm going to have? I have different ideas. Oh, thank you, Drew Crispy. I, I, I'm glad you find it very nice. Yeah, I have a lot of ideas. It's just... Not yet. Of course, they all take time, <laughs> and it's sometimes hard to find a time where I could just sit down for hours and play Minecraft alone. You seem to plan more afterwards. That's the thing, I always like doing the design- oh, that was a bad lag spike, holy cow. I always plan ahead when it comes to builds like this. Like, oftentimes I will go into a single player world and I, I will build stuff out and I will plan it that way. That's one of the biggest things that I will do. And it's just something. Oh. Thank you for the follow, Dalton. I very much appreciate it. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. But, like I was saying, uh, I always plan my builds like beforehand. I like to see it visually first because I'm a very visual person. Hello, Dalton. How are you doing today? Dewey, hello. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? 
More gravel. I'm just glad that gravel was broken with torches, otherwise this would be so tedious. <laughs> House part, I kind of wanted to destroy and redo. I just saw your Twitch and self promo and was oh, this is server and thought, why not? Well, thank you for stopping by. I very much appreciate it. Everybody's welcome. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to get one more stream in before I had to go for the house repairs and have to move up to the dining room, <laughs> which will definitely not be the most ideal streaming space. But we, we will make do. Let's see. So currently, for those who've missed it, I am clearing out my base on the mod server. This is a cool place. <laughs> this is a cool place to be. Thank you, Jack Crispy. You're too sweet. I swear. Well, let me show the others real quick. This, I am making a giant circle under my base, which I'm going to carve out to be a giant sphere. Ah, what kind of tea tonight? Oh my goodness. See, let's see if I can even pronounce the flower that is part of it. It's lemon and like e echinacea. I, I, I think that's how you say it. Echinacea. It's a type of flower. Uh, herbal tea. That's what I got tonight. Right now I'm just mainly waiting for it to cool. But for those who didn't see before, this is my little humble abode on the surface. All my complex stuff is going to be underground. I feel like we're at a tea party. <laughs> Honestly, it does feel like that whenever you guys ask me what tea I'm drinking. But I, I honestly love it, considering I already am a tea addict. I already told you that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wait, it's nighttime. Might as well sleep. But yeah, this is the uh, Liz's mod server. That's uh, in for nice host, this one. Hold up, I have some bottle bottles of green tea. Nice. Nice. All the tea. We need all the tea here. I can't drink my tea just yet because it's still too hot. <laughs> but luckily I, ha I have some water as well, so that works. Oh, and yep, you can hear my farm on the other side of the wall. Oh, we have mint tea. That's what I had yesterday. I love it. Absolutely great. I have a very long staircase down to Y15 because of all of my strip mining for <laughs> diamond. <sighs> Let's get all the way down here. It's mainly just so I can like deposit some of this stuff. Okay, let's get, put the nether brick for now. I'm not gonna be using nether brick for a second. And just like, okay, does anything fit in here yet? Okay, mainly it's just chuck it, especially the cobble. I'm gonna get so much cobble that <laughs> I could just chuck it. Mostly Earl Grey and some Christmas themed tea. Ooh, I don't really have many of those, but I, I am branching out to more teas. I was rewatching the VOD and taking note of the teas you guys were talking about yesterday. <laughs> You guys had me very interested. All the teas. <laughs> Comfort Elvish's tea recommendations stay for the awesome. You are too sweet to crispy. I'm still working on that drawing for you. Don't don't forget that. I'm still doing that. <gasps> Hope! Bro, you got a whole civilization here. I just put four blocks in a tree and call it home. Well, this is a very simple build, but hope, hello, how are you doing? But yeah, this is just a very s simple house on the surface. So this is the back side of it, very plain and very simple. Wanted something quick to build, so I actually had a base of operations kind of thing here, so I could just get going. 
Very simple. Yes, all the pals in one place, Hope. And then here's the inside of it. My my dog. And then upstairs we have my sleeping quarters. I'm going to be adding plenty of carpets and stuff like that to break up the dark oak. And then up here, simple, I must suck at Minecraft. No, no, I am not saying that at all, Dalton, no. <laughs> I've just been playing for a long time and I have worked on big builds for a long time. But then it's down here where everything is going to be bigger. And the, oh, Elvish Pro. <laughs> the bed is so cute. I love this freaking texture pack. Okay, I don't know if anybody noticed with the dog, but when instead of uh, collars, when you color them, they get a little doggy sweater. They're in a sweater instead. Mizuno Craft. I, I think that is the one I'm using, right? I believe so. Yes, Mizuno 16 Craft right here. That's the one I've been using. Oh, hey, Gabriel. Jet Minecraft decorating is lost on me. I only learned how to start decorating a bit more because my sister, like, whenever we played together, uh, I would do the build and she would do the decor. So I just watched it. it yeah, I would always watch her decor it, because more than half time, I just didn't care. And then I was on th this server where I think, oh wait, people are actually going to see my base. I might as well make it look good. <laughs> I usually go for function, so a lot of time I'll do like redstone. Redstone contraptions here and there. Redstone doors. And that may be one of the things I do in this underground area. But like I was explaining to, uh, yeah, my houses are efficient, not decorative. Yeah, that was the vast majority of mine, like on single player I will do that, but I just went with more decor because this is a multiplayer. This is the mod server that is uh, for Liz's mods. Yeah, I I'm reading your chat, Dalton. Yeah, and I always build- I have a tendency to build underground too as well, to crispy. <laughs> um, the biggest thing is that I just like that it's- the blocks surrounding it help with making a shape for me instead of having like to freehand it. <laughs> I know how to build same uh, the same two vaguely castle themed buildings that are always the exact wrong size for actually doing anything useful. But like I was telling you, Crispy, I plan everything before building it. It's all like you would go to a single player world and I will work on building it out and testing it, see how I like it, test different blocks. I actually like plan a base. Like this base I planned for a while in like a single player world before I built it in this one. That way I just mainly have to focus on getting resources because I already have an idea of what's in like what idea I have. But uh, I could possibly explain here what I was going to do down here. So what you can't see at the moment because I'm still clearing this area out is this is a massive circle. And uh, wait, I actually got the idea for underground from Hope. Nice. But yeah, uh, this is a giant circle. And I'm going to have pathways that way, center, that way, and then some diagonal ones as well. But the center room here is going to be a sphere. So it's going to be domed on the top and the bottom. So the platform you're standing on is a like a floating platform. What's going to be under the platform I'm still deciding because I have plenty of uh, area to have to clean out. <laughs> But I won't be doing this the whole stream. We're probably gonna go on an adventure at the same at some point. Probably after I just like finish this little section. Of this just two wide blocks all the way down. I'll probably head out on an adventure. Yeah, I could fit an item sorter here. Me actually building it. <laughs> How many floors must I remove to make this? That this is why I plan everything. One time me and my best friend made a whole castle one time. It was so big I got lost. It took me an hour before we made a pickaxe and dug out. It wasn't even a good castle. Just had 10 floors and a lot of 
Oh my goodness. I've never gotten Wasten built. I have made some really large builds. And I have some large builds planned. Like, um, one of them is a very elaborate entrance to one of my bases. Yeah, I get lost in the mines all the time. <laughs> Doesn't matter where I put my torches, I will get lost. That's that's just fact. I will get lost. It doesn't matter. Just to be fair, in my house I dug so low I fell into a mine. <laughs> Haven't done that yet. I but I've run into many ravines on other builds. This one is only at uh, Y63, so it's not that far down at all. It can't get lost in the mine when you. <laughs> Mine a system of straight lines at Y11 and never go into caves. More than two steps. Oh! Night, Dewey! See you later! Oh. Oh, you just hear animals. Hold on one second. Let me mute myself for a second. Okay, I'm back. Good thing I muted. Because the dog came in my room chasing the cat. <laughs> you would have heard a terrible noise. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. Yep, you heard him meow. That was Finn. He was not happy that the dog was coming downstairs. I am wearing headphones, but... <sighs> but yeah, having headphones is good because you guys would have heard a racket, but I just had to mute my mic so you didn't hear everything. <laughs> oh, it, it wouldn't have been nice. Anyways, Did now she... that we got that out of the way, <laughs> we're probably going to start on an adventure now. Because it'd be pretty boring if I just mined the entire time. We'll just find a direction I haven't gone in yet, and see what we find. Let me check out all this cobble, because I do not need any more, because I'm not even close to being done. And then I don't think I could fit any more of this in here. Whether or not headphones actually do a good job at cutting background noise on the mic is a toss-up. Yeah, my mic is a Blue Yeti by itself. It's not even connected to my headphones at all. Like, so, and it, it's pretty sensitive, it picks up everything, unfortunately, and fortunately, but it, it's sad. And then, <laughs> yeah. So my dog won't freak out when she hears a weird Australian man on YouTube. That's why I, you, okay, you probably hear my family screaming at the dog in the background. <laughs> They're trying to get her in her kennel to go to bed. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, so sorry if you picked all of that up because my microphone picks up everything. Alright. So now I'm gonna start like getting everything up. We're gonna have to sleep and then we'll go out on an adventure and search a direction I haven't gone yet. See what we can find. Lily, no. <laughs> All my animals are acting up today. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, my cat thought she could walk on my desk and not get in trouble for that. Well, let's set this in here. Let's take this with us. We will take this food with us. And might as well just get rid of these as well while we're out. Preserve our pick. I got a headset I like now, but I want new ones. That wasn't cobblestone. <laughs> yes, it's because over here, it's because where I'm making more furnaces. 
And then the nether rack for the hallways downstairs, glass, because of also the hallways. So this is the like smelting. Then these two are actual food. I have some form of organization except for this chest, which is just building materials and random stuff. That reminds me, I needed to get wood to make a boat. Just in case. Just in case we need a boat out there. Let's keep that with us. I have too many headsets because I kept not having them when I needed them. I don't have a headset, I just have normal headphones and then this uh, separate microphone because of the uh, voice acting I dabble in. So needed a good mic to do all that. I had a bunch years ago and just got a pair of Corsair. Oh, right now I seem to have issues when going in and out of Discord. The issue that I had with Discord recently was um, it was denying my mic for some reason and I had no clue why and I had to go and troubleshoot the problem for who knows how long. Let's head this way. Wait, I think I may have gone this way, but eh, I don't remember anything. USB, I always have to reset it. Oh, that's wait, some audio controls that use inputs. Hold. <laughs> Hold on, one second. Let's get up this mountain. Okay. Some audio techniques uh, that use the inputs and not USB. USB. Uh, so I'm gonna try it. USB. I always have to reset it. Oof, that sucks. I also, I'm also using my Corsair ones. Check your Discord default settings and make sure it's just set to Corsair, not system default. And drivers mess it up a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for me, I don't. It. It was almost um. Like I have to use. I know it's disgusting, but I have to use the browser Discord because the app doesn't stop downloading. Or if keep saying update failed no matter what I do. And I've worked on it for a long time, I just gave up. But I have an extra mic because my dad muted my mic and I thought it was broken. I went and bought a new one and found out it was muted. Ouch. That's gotta suck. I haven't had that problem before where it was just muted and not broken. I haven't broken really any equipment, uh, and I'm lucky for that. It's fine, I play Browser Crunker. I have to play Browser Crunker because the, uh, the Steam client for Crunker is a Windows only, and I don't have my gaming PC yet for Windows. I'm stuck, uh, this is a Mac uh, desktop computer, so I can't use the Steam client. <laughs> Yep, if, if it works, it works. At least Corsair headphones don't do me to eternal hell of Razer snaps like my keyboard does. I have no problems with my Razer keyboard. Oh, okay. There goes my boat. <laughs> okay. Well, looks like we're leaving it. Oh. More lily of the valley. Oh my gosh, this lag. Oh, dang it. How did I go down to three bars? What was that? It had its own life to go live, apparently, in the mountain. The boat that I, I got out of the boat and then went into the mountain. That's what just happened. That's what you saw. <laughs> that. Yeah, that's what happened. But, um. I don't know why it's lagging so bad. I never lag this bad. Well, we could just explore, leave the flowers alone. And if I just need to make a new boat, I, I can try if lag doesn't kill me first. Oh, 
I've used Razor before, never had issues, but went to Corsair for my current build. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nothing's gonna break, so I may have to actually re-log from the game. Oh, yep, especially because we reached the ocean, I need a new boat, but nothing will break. I definitely will need to <laughs> redo the game. Let me do that real quick. Let me disconnect from the game and see if I can address that issue of lag. Boats are really bugged when you aren't on local. Churro, churro. I should <laughs> go straight and see if it comes out on the other side. <laughs> True, that, that could have happened with the boat, but who knows? I kind of have a feeling it's gone. <laughs> I, I kind of have a feeling it's not coming back. I'm better off just making a new boat altogether. <laughs> but yeah, I mainly have Razor because like this is the first stuff I've ever got. I got a Razor mouse. Oh, it's already clipped out of the map. True. So, but, um, what I was doing, when I got my first mouse, I, uh, my family got me a Razor. And I've liked it a lot, so I just kept it. And then I got a uh, Razer uh, Chroma keyboard. So that is what I'm currently using. Well, well here's why there's lag. I got my boat back. Here we go. We still got our boat. It didn't go on an adventure. The boat came back. Now we can take these. I mainly need them for white dye. Even though I could use like bone meal. But I don't want to always have to get skeletons and just get bones. Oh, wait. Five days from now you're going to be sailing and just see a random boat watch it happen. That would have been funny if I hadn't gotten this one back and just randomly showed up in the middle of the ocean one day. <laughs> that would have been great. Oh my goodness. Let's... Yeah, but why not on both my computer snaps? This ruins performance. Okay. Never had issues. Okay. Yeah, I mainly just have Razor at the moment um, because it it's, like works. I don't need anything fancy. It's not doing anything bad for me. So I just use it. And it, that's it. But would I get different stuff? Yeah. Probably, I'll probably get new stuff when I get my actual gaming PC, which I hope to get like this summer, plus an actual webcam, because part of the reason I don't have webcam is because all I have is the built-in computer one, which is not good. <laughs> okay, looks like we, I, I guess we went in a different direction, because this is definitely not an ocean. I use Logitech mouse and an RGI headset and everything works perfect. Yeah, for me, like, I'm not picky. I'm like, if it works, it works. That's it. That's all I need. I don't need anything fancy. This is how I am as a person. Oh, wait, I need leather. Oh, come on. You guys give me leather. There we go. cow go? I hear it. Hold on, what's up? Where is that cow? It ran as soon as it saw me killing all the others. I, I also will get the chickens for feathers. That's 
Oh, there he is. There we go. I just need a couple more books for my enchanting area, so... Yeah, I just need a couple more for my enchanting area so I can... Uh, like the look of it more. Like, I already have full function of the room because I already have enough books, but... Just want to add more. Then, I need the... Feathers for my arrows. There's the ocean. Alright. Now let's hope the boat doesn't float off without me. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Immediately we find coral reef. That's awesome. First thing we find. I say... Okay, cool. My boat's not leaving anywhere. Oh, I only got two freaking feathers from that. Dang it. Get some of these sea pickles. Oh, of course, it's getting dark. Well, I'd rather be out, sea where, out at sea where I only have to worry about drowned, which aren't hard to fight at all. So, being SD is fine right now. Let's just get some more sea pickles because I may use them in a build or something. I should have brought like a silk touch pickaxe or something to gather this coral. I just have to make note of this being here. Okay, let me take the coordinates real quick. Okay. There we go. Now we have those. Now we'll venture onward. Let's see what we can find. And it looks like there's a second coral reef over here. Dang. We have no shortage of it. This is definitely a good place to get everything. I will definitely be visiting this later to pick up all this coral. Maybe I'll make some kind of aquarium or something. Oh my gosh, this one's immense. This is freaking massive. Hold on one second. I need to reload this. I'm not seeing something. Oh my gosh, yep. This- it's not stopping! Oh, there's a jungle! Yes! Yes, perfect! I've been needing to find a jungle. Oh, this is perfect. Um, let's take these coordinates as well. That is perfect. So there, we have both our screenshots of our coordinates. It's not even that far. That's perfect. I actually have been needing one of these. Hold on, let me take a drink of my tea. I think we're just going to chill here for a moment. And, yeah, get a panda. I will try to find bamboo and try to find a panda. Put them in this boat and get them to buy base. I want a panda. I will try. It will be difficult, but it will be worth it. I want a panda. Okay, I may actually not go on land right this second. I just watched three skeletons spawn over there. <laughs> I'm gonna wait a moment. Yeah, I'm actively watching things spawn. Let me move back to try to not be in there. Who doesn't want a panda? I know, right? I, I know I for sure want a panda. Hold up. And there is a shipwreck here. Perfect. We might as well check this out. Oh, I didn't bring what I was hoping I'd done. Dang it. I'll actually check that out after. Whenever I look whenever I look in one of these, I always bring a door so I don't have to worry about running out of air. 
place down a door and there you go, you got your air. Well, for now, I'll just chill here in the coral, coral reef, drinking my tea and waiting for daytime, which is going to be a while. So we can just chat for a moment. We'll just sit here and chat. <laughs> I, I need to get new skin. This one's so old. The only thing that's still relevant about it is that it's a, uh, like a werewolf. Like one of the old school werewolf skins with like the ears on the side. <laughs> like it's one of these old school ones. Okay. This is a pretty good sized jungle. Okay, I saw the skeleton spawn over there, so I'll go over here to this beach. I'm tired of waiting, actually. Let's hope we could find bamboo and pandas. Okay. And the trek begins. I did not know he was there. Well, set that there so I actually could see. <laughs> well, it's one way to clear the area. Let's make it. Bro, my skin is the gecko <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> edition. <laughs> the one where you can't play online. Oh my goodness, that- whoa. Well then. You good? Okay. Well, for now, I need to- I, I need to craft an axe to get this wood faster. I don't need an oak sapling, I would actually rather jungle. Take these back home so I don't have to always come here. But... This is okay. I just used the nip nip skin, <laughs> cause weeb trash. Hey, weebs are okay here. Remember, you guys are the ones who showed me anime, you and Colby. So, weaves are fine. Weaves are accepted here. Because <laughs> my I and myself am a weeb. Okay. I don't like anime, don't hurt me. As long as you don't talk, like, bad about anybody who likes it, then I'm not gonna hurt you. It's only when you decide to be a jerk about it, then, then I would hurt that person. Or give them a piece of my mind. But, it's okay to have uh, different interests, not everybody's gonna like the same thing. Oh, come on! Well, if you're uncovering all the freaking uh, jungle wood and you're not even hurting me, so I'm okay with this. Clear all the space for me. Might as well do that. Might watch Pokemon every now and then. Fair enough. I remember growing up with Pokemon all the time. I said. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. I recently found my entire collection of Pokemon cards. I had lost it when we moved. Where's the baby zombie? I heard it. Oh, and there's a skeleton. Ow. I'm gonna guess all the other mobs are under these leaves. I'm gonna 
guess that. Oh, oh no, too crispy. Go to sleep. You're fine. I hope you sleep well. Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh. I haven't really watched much Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, Pokemon I definitely have. Thank you, Joe Crispy. Thank you for being here for both of my streams. I very much appreciate it. Now, you go rest up. Oh. Ugh, these mobs need to just hurry up and go away. I just need to know where the baby zombie is. The, the sounds of it is annoying me because I don't know where it is. But I've barely explored the freaking jungle. <laughs> this is literally just the beginning of it. I need to go and try to find pants. Uh, apparently Pokemon got better again with the Sun and Moon series. I haven't gotten around to watching it between college and other things releasing. Yeah, I haven't gotten around to watching Pokemon recently either, so that is just something I'll need to do in my free time when I actually have it, if that exists. Still here, by the way, just make, just playing some games. You're completely fine, Hope. That's absolutely fine. The fact that you're here, though, is very nice. I'm, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> yes, the fact, the fact that I, I just have the homies here. It's awesome. Let's talk about cards, just so you know. Oh, I still I need to go through my collection once uh, the repairs are done because they're back in storage. Um, but maybe after the uh, after all my repairs are done, I can do a stream where I show you my cards and stuff like that. Maybe even buy some new cards to add to the collection. Almost all my cards are in storage, except the ones I've gotten after I moved. For me, um, all of mine were in storage, and I see that creeper. I'm bringing you away! Blow up, blow up. There we go. Cool. Um, all my cards were in storage, but how I found them was actually through the flooding. So, um, for people who don't know why I have house repairs right now, is that a pipe of ours uh, froze. <laughs> and then, of course, it exploded. So... It flooded the storage room, which shares a wall to my room. And it did, did, did a bit of damage, but um, we're just going to redo the whole basement. So that it helps that we're looking at the positive of what we're going to do with this. So. Just look at the bright side of it all, that we're going to redo the basement like we've wanted to for a while now. Oh, how's the... Oh, the big freeze pin in the main lamp. <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Hawaii. Um, it's been cold. Very, very cold here. We've had negative temperatures already several times. And they're not like it's not fun, but uh, we had a lot of snow, a, a a lot of it. But I'm I'm okay with it. I I live in the cold. Look at his rain and rain. <laughs> I I don't expect anywhere else. Where I live, um, I do not give out exactly like where, but I'm just gonna say I'm in the U.S. I don't say which state. <laughs> Just that I'm in the US. 
but it's already narrowed down by my time zone. I'm in Mountain Standard Time. So I have like the Rocky Mountains and stuff like that. I live in Alaska, so you don't have to tell me much about snow. I have friends who used to live in Alaska because um, their, their dad was in the Air Force. And then uh, he retired and moved. Okay, I need to see if any saplings start dropping. Cause I, I don't want to go without any saplings. But I can also try in other areas. I just hope in this expedition we find the elusive pandas. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Oh, hi, Ocelot. I don't have any fish to give you, unfortunately. So I cannot make you my kitty cat. I miss the life, life and death experience walking in the snow and worn out crocs. Oh please, you wore your snow boots a lot too. You, I remember you would always be that one in snow boots and shorts. That was your style. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I remember those. But I've never had to walk in the snow and crocs, that was totally you. Don't worry, I've stopped that now. I now I wear Crocs and only Crocs. I'm not surprised to hear that at all. Like not at all. That that seems very much like you. How long have you been? Have I been streaming? Actually, my first stream was yesterday. <laughs> so, I'm just very new. This stream has been going on for about 55 minutes. But I've only started streaming, like, actively streaming yesterday. Yeah, because, uh, I wanted to do a stream before having to wait, like, another month with the repairs. But, um, then I had a lot of fun yesterday with it, so I was like, you know, let's go do a second one. Let's do a second one, and there we go. So, we're here now. I seem good at it. Thank you. I think uh, yesterday helped a lot, but also the fact being on Twitch so much. Like as you know, I'm already a moderator for like Liz and Hope, and I see what they do, and I s I see what a lot of other streamers do. Don't stop. Thank you. Yeah, I'm only going to have to stop for the hiatus uh, to just wait until after the repairs, but once the repairs are done, I, I plan to actually make a schedule and actually keep doing this because this is actually really fun. So I don't plan to stop soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's because I started like watching a lot of streamers and getting involved in communities that I actually got the confidence to do it. Cause, uh, yeah, you've seen me in chats and stuff. Um, it's because, believe it or not, I have really bad social anxiety. So for years I've wanted to do this, but I haven't had the confidence. But then being a moderator has definitely helped that confidence. We, we have bamboo. We're getting close to the biome. We may be getting close to the biome. Pandas? Where are you guys? Mostly for Liz, only hope like twice. Yeah, I haven't been, uh, it's because sometimes, the most recent streams, they've been streaming at the same time here and there. I've been there in hopes, I just lurk more, uh, I just lurk because people have been more, more chill. And then I look at, uh, Liz as well. But yeah, I, I'm usually there, I just don't talk. The only things I've ever streamed, like, are puzzle games so other people could solve puzzles for me. <laughs> that That's a mood. Me, uh, I've only done these two streams, so Minecraft and Stardew. So not much puzzle work. But, uh, yeah, I've been on Twitch daily because now I moderate for five people. <laughs> I moderate for... Liz, Hope, Space, uh, so Space Case, um, Jacrispy, and Jakers. I mod for all of them. 
Yeah, I only started modding for Space Case today. But yeah, I have quite a bit of modding experience. <laughs> and doing that has given me confidence. Especially considering I make people mad with my moderation to the point I've had three troll accounts made. When you look up my username, you'll see one of them. <laughs> Elvish Wolf Fart Face. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I moderate and I make people mad and we get some troll accounts. Liz got mad at me today because we did melee custom and I was sweating and I killed her like... So, yeah, I was there when you were doing that. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I remember you sweating in that custom. Come on, can we find more bamboo? I want to find a panda. I want to try to bring a panda home. I know, I've got plenty of cocoa beans, that's all I need. Okay, it's getting dark. Being in the jungle in the dark is not ideal with what happened before. But for us to be able to do something, I don't want to have to just be stuck in a hole. Also, we have to keep inventory on. So, I can just stay out here and if I die, I die. I have everything on me. I need your feathers! I need to make arrows when I get home. Okay. Let's keep going. Gather as much bamboo because I want to create a bamboo farm. Okay. Let's keep going. Up. Oh, shit! It blends right into the leaves. Uh, keep inventory is sort of necessary on multiplayer because it sucks to lose items when somebody else loaded the chunk they were in. Yeah. Yeah, th that definitely is awful when you lose all your stuff because somebody else is in the chunk. Okay. Hey, blow up stuff and clear stuff for me, please. Clear stuff out of my. Clear stuff out of the way. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, the keep inventory is a good thing that we have it on. Um, but yeah, like right now, nobody's online, so if I had dropped my stuff, nobody would pick it up and the trunk wouldn't be loaded, so everything would stay. But, um, yeah, but most of the time, though, we're in the same trunk a lot of the time. So stuff would despawn if we didn't have keep inventory. Okay, let's get to a safe spot. Cause I need to turn the fan on, it's really hot. I'm probably just gonna have to uh, bury myself. I'm gonna leave this cow alive because it has a cow. Well, there goes the cow. Where'd it go? Ow, I can't move. <laughs> Okay. See you, Dalton. Alright, hold on one second. Let me turn my fan on real quick. Now I should probably there I should get airflow going through here, cool myself down. <gasps> and be okay. And that calf just tried to kill me. But let's keep going. Let's see, what do we find? Let's climb down this. Ow. Oh <gasps> here we go! 
Okay. We may be finding some pandas. But first off, I think I'm just gonna sit up in the trees for a bit, for a hot minute. I'm gonna go in there in the daylight. So, yes, there's a patch of bamboo. Are there pandas? That is the question. <gasps> There's melons! I need those melons as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I do not need oak saplings. I have so many of those at my base. Oh, hi. Go look into where I am. You can't parkour. Okay. It's only halfway through the night, but I should start, like, making some stuff real quick. There's plenty of wood right here in this tree, so I could just use this to build something. Alright, so the first thing I need immediately is tools. I'll just get some axes. Okay, so I have four inventory spaces left. I'm gonna check out stuff here too. Alright. Well, I'm not going to go back this way to go down, so let's start chucking things. Actually, let's just make these into arrows. That'll be easy. Perfect timing that you're back. Yeah, uh, actually, I'm hoping to find a panda in here. It's starting and it leads over there. I'm hoping to find a panda in here. Because I see it spreading back there too. Oh, yep, I need to tap that back. I mainly just have it on intermission because it's still completely pitch black. You can't really see it, but hold on, I'll do that. <clears throat> yep, we're on intermission card, I, I see. But, yep, there's it spreads back there still, it looks like. So hopefully I can find a panda in here somewhere. I hope. <laughs> but mainly I'm just waiting for it to lighten up more. Because I already see, like, mobs galore. Also, I need to grab the melons on the edge of the cliff. Isn't that fun? But okay, I have four inventory slots. Okay. It's almost going to be sunrise, so we'll be able to head down there now. Because things are going to start burning eventually. Oh boy. Let's get to these melons first. Let's get these melons, that's my first priority. And then going to get there's that. Cool. Now get these. Oh come on, we're having lag. There we go. Now let's get some of this bamboo real quick. Alright, some of that. Now, let's see. Oh my goodness. This is quite big. Melons, yes. Oh, I'm definitely making a melon farm without a doubt. That's why I grabbed them. I haven't had any. I'm just trying to look around here first. This reminds me of what one guy did on the server. He made a bamboo maze. It was amazing. 
I can possibly make farm of everything farmable. Yes, I do the same. Oh, there's an Enderman. Let's. Oh, nope, I cannot do that part. Okay. Where'd he go? I want to stare at him. Yeah, I always make a farm of everything. Oh. Okay. Oh, how dare you steal the block that's protecting me? Come on, Fred. Come there. Come here. Come here. Thank you for the pearl. I need that. I saw a second Enderman over there. Except for pumpkins. Don't ask me why. I just don't. I do still make a, a pumpkin farm. I make every farm. Every farm that I can, I will. Alright. Why? Well, so far it's... Not looking good on the pandas. Oh, but we just got lucky over here. We just got lucky. I'm gonna make a farm but never harvest it. <laughs> True. Awesome. And considering nobody's, uh, nobody has gotten here, I think. Yeah, I don't believe anybody's been in these. Yeah, okay. Sam, so my sister will log on to my farm and harvest everything because it annoys her. <laughs> Sounds like something my sister would do because of me. But I just don't uh, do any of that. Okay. There's the tripwire. There we go. Ow. I forgot about that part. So I just let her do it now. Yeah, I I don't play as much with my uh, little sister. Uh, what do I? I can easily get rid of the rotten flesh. Thank you very much. I will start gathering this redstone, even though I have stockpiled it like a hoarder. I have so much redstone. It's. It's insane. Might as well take those arrows in the dispenser. In the end, I just use the zombie piglins and carrot farm. True. Golden carrots are just good. Yeah, they are. Perfect. There we go. And then. Okay, hold on one second. I got this dispenser. Yeah, I'm fine with this. I can't remember the last time I raided one of these. These mattered. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I can take the bones for bone meal. I don't need levers. Take the emerald. I just break through. It doesn't matter if I don't pull the switch or not. <laughs> it's just easier. Okay, for the emerald, let's get rid of the sticks. And I've got a stack of bamboo. I'm fine. Yeah, I don't need to pull the switch. But I want to see what's in here. Oh, okay. Set all these. No, I don't need the lever. I'm taking the sticky pistons. Might as well take 
this as well. I'll just take everything redstone. Um, I don't need the raw chicken. I can easily make this. There we go. Alright. Now let's get out. Okay. Let's... Uh, it was a movie reference you were making, okay. I didn't get it immediately. Okay, so far it looks like there's no pandas. I haven't heard any. Oh well, let's keep going. More melons. You can't have too many melons. There's no such thing. <laughs> Hello, kid. Hello, Finn. Hello. taught you hello, I'm aware. Yes, I've ta I'm aware I taught you hello. <laughs> I apologize for the cat. He's just eager to say hello. Okay, do you need something? Do you need something, Finn? Do, do you need something? Oh, nope, you just want to cause noise. <laughs> Did we ever get you to play Don't Starve? No, I actually never played that. I never got around to playing that. And then Don't Starve Together, I haven't played that, no. Finn, stop. Okay, hold on one moment. I think he may actually need something. Is that right, Finn? Okay, cat is screaming at me. I love how he a actually says hello. Yes, I taught him that when he was little. I <laughs> yeah, so now he'll just sit in the hallway in the middle of the night. Hello, hello. <laughs> and I'm like, just come into my room. I'm awake. I could pet you. But yeah, at this point, I have absolutely no idea how many copies Owen bought. <laughs> oh my goodness. I haven't spoken to Owen or like Colby and all of them in a long time. Holy cow. Okay, well, first off, I think I need to see if he actually needs something. So I'm gonna put myself here in the water real quick. And I will be right back. I'm seeing if he needs something. back. Nope, he just wanted to say hello to everybody. <laughs> That's all he wanted. Last time Owen was online, we watched him play Ring Fit. Colby really only ever on for David streaming Persona or me streaming Winnie Pop. Oh, oh my goodness. I sub to your YouTube. Thank you, Dalton. I very much appreciate that. Yeah, especially, um, I'm going to be posting more to that, um, after this hiatus and, like, in my abs absence of Twitch, uh, streaming. I'm going to be focusing more on my YouTube and other social media, uh, considering I can't live stream upstairs. Oh, shoot. So yeah, um, be on the lookout for that. I will be posting a lot more to my YouTube. Probably going to start off art videos that I've been making. Um, this VOD, possibly. 
but yeah. Everyone is too busy and nobody except June wants to ever play League anymore. I need to start playing League again because it's been forever. Uh, like, I'd be down to play with y'all if I actually know how to play. Because <laughs> last time I played, you guys mainly just yelled at me the entire time and I'm like, I don't know what that means! <laughs> It, 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 oh my gosh, this jungle goes on forever. It was quite the adventure <laughs> with you guys. Okay. Um. Oh, let's jump down. There we go. Yeah, I can show you exactly how not to play. <laughs> Cool. Give me all the pointers of what not to do. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Bird! Okay. I think I, I may have to get a bird. I need seeds. I need seeds. find seed to get you. I want the bird. <gasps> okay, there's like no tall grass. Seeds! Okay, I found one now. Okay, well it's getting dark. That's not good. There's all the tall grass. There's tall grass. Okay. Let's get this. I need more seeds. Give me the seeds. Okay. Um, six seeds so far. Seven. Oh, for a seven. Now I head this direction. Let's see if this is enough to get the bird. <laughs> okay, now I need to see where the bird run off to. Or fly off. This is the area where the bird was. Where'd it go? took all of it. How dare you. Just let me love you. Let me love you, please. I want a bird. No? Oh my gosh, how many seeds do you freaking need? stole all the Minecraft RNG, it seems. Oh my gosh, bringing this bird home is gonna be hard. Yeah, I haven't, like, watched, like, anything of Dream. Like, at all. I barely know of them. 
But I, I know of him. I just never seen any of his content. Where where is my bird going? Like do bird get the same teleporting as other pets do? I don't know. I haven't like done anything with the pet birds. I honestly don't know if they get the same teleporting. Sorry my friend says something that sounds sus. Had to figure out the whole deal with her, her boy. I was trying to sleep but she was having none of it. Oh. Wait. Where did, where did my bird just go? Yeah, you're fine Dalton. It's okay that you help your friend. Help your friend first and foremost. She's being mad confusing. People be like that. Yeah, you know, we'll stay in this tree for a second. I need to see if birds have the same teleporting abilities as uh, other animals. Oh, shoot! Where's the bird? Where's my bird? I hear him. There you are. Stop flying. They're going to pick you up. You know, we're just... Sit right here. Stay right here. Here we go. I check the wiki. They can't teleport. Oh, thank goodness. That means I can just walk. Because as soon as I, like, I jump or I fall off something, he jumps off my shoulder. Oh, that's good that they can teleport. <laughs> oh, there you go. He teleported to my feet. I'm just gonna keep walking. That's, uh, thank you for looking that up for me, Gabriel. I definitely needed that. All right. Okay. Yay. Now we just have the long trek home. We'll see how long this takes. We went very far into this jungle. But I'd say this was a very successful trip. We found... <clears throat> Plenty of bamboo. We didn't find pandas, unfortunately, which is sad, but we got ourselves a parrot. I'm probably gonna have to, like, make a pole or something. There's a blue one. Do you want a friend? I feel like I'm gonna be like the animal hoarder. I have an idea of exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this. Whoa. Thanks for the lift. <laughs> nope, another creeper. Another creeper. Now, that blue one, of course, had to go to the other side. But I need more seeds than this, because it took like 10 to get this one bird. I'm not, I'm gonna have either too much or just the right amount of seeds to get this bird. Okay, why am I not getting any? I hear the zombie, I hear the skeletons over there. Dang it. Okay. 
Well, so far it looks like we're not going to get any more seeds. So where did that blue bird go? Nope, 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 nope. No! He just killed my ferret. Yeah, you just watched him die. What enchantments do I have on my sword? Smite and breaking free. My my parrot. Hi, buddy. That's that's so sad. Oh shoot! There's a witch right there. Sad now. My my parrot, he died. Now all these parrots are spawning when I didn't see them before. I'm gonna stick with this dark blue one. I I don't need another parrot. We've made it to the beach, finally. Oh my gosh. There is a lot of bamboo. Okay, let's see. We found this pond. Yeah, like, my enchantments are, like, not the best, but it's fine. I would, instead of smite, I'd rather have had a fire aspect, but this is what I got. I have to have a funeral when we get home. I got his uh, feathers. Hold up. Let me do that. I'm heading the right way to get home, so that's good. so sad. I had a parrot, I was happy. We're gonna get the other one and then nope, creeper has to go and murder him. Oh, it's so sad. I barely had him. Oh well. At least we have one and we still have success from the rest of the trip. Is that the beach? Are we finally at the beach and going to sail home? Yep, we are. It's time for the long boat ride. Are you ready for this? Um, I'm going to have to do like a poll or something to figure out what I want, like what to name this. Name this little guy. Guy or girl. Or anything. We're gonna have to decide what to name this little bluebird. Then we're off. I may have, I'll probably do like a poll on like I'll put it on my Discord. Exclamation mark Discord if you wanna join that. Okay, home is this way. But yeah, I will probably put a poll in the uh, Discord of what we should name our new little friend. Oh, hello dolphin, you're swimming with us, that's cute. <laughs> okay, let's see. There we go, there's the reef. Okay. Yep, we're on the right track. Right track to get home. Everything will be good again. You get this bird safely there. Oh, 
I'm just glad that they teleport. <laughs> okay. Here was the massive coral reef. But yeah, here's what we drove by. We're slowly making it home, and boy, is this a journey. <laughs> So I'm glad that we made progress and found land that I hadn't seen yet. I hadn't seen all the the jungle or anything like that. Uh, Infernice and I had been looking for one for a while. And I went every direction but that way. <laughs> oh, there's a drowned. But yeah, this, this was awesome that we made progress. Now we get to head home. Alright. We have to head this way, I believe. Let's put this here. Okay, pretty much straight this way. Okay, and it's only midday, so we can make some good progress before we have to, uh, like, get ready for the night. I'm not risking losing another parrot after this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot some cold tea. I need to drink real quick. There we go, I had to finish that tea over real quick because I didn't want it to go to waste. Alright. Okay, let's keep going. This is definitely a long journey. It, it does not feel like I went this far, <laughs> but apparently I did. Then again, we have been streaming for over an hour and a half, so I, I did really go this far. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's very surprising that I managed to go this far and not get like bored or distracted or anything like that. We went to the jungle, we found what we wanted. The only thing I didn't get really was the panda. Miss those pandas. But that's okay. Oh, wait, there's the snowy mountains. Perfect, perfect. Let's start riding the river. Get going a bit faster this way. second there. Put this little ravine. This is a cool little ravine. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to know this place. This is a cool. There we go. I have to be a mountain goat. Going slowly but surely, we're getting up the mountain. Um, I'm pretty sure I do have some blocks I can use. There we go, use that. There we go. Surely we're getting our way up. That's 
needs to be happening. Perfect. Oh, there's a bit more of a staircase here. I do believe I'm on the opposite mountain of where I was. Because I believe I ran through there and my base is this way. Wait, I think that is my ridge right there. Hopefully this is. I should be close. And my parrot is right there. Oh my gosh, what the heck just happened? Okay. Yep, here we are. We're back home. We made it. Oh, finally, we're home. And just as the sun is going down. Perfect. Let's pick up the bird over here. Come on, let me pick you up. Stop flying. Come here. Oh, and it's now it's raining. There we go. Perfect, we made it up. You should put a goal to on face reveal, not cam just uh, a reveal. Um maybe. I might think of doing that. That 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 will take time though. <laughs> Cause uh, that would also have to definitely be after everything. Because um, my background is a disaster right now. And also I do not have a good webcam. So I would rather do a face reveal like on a stream and not just like posting a picture on my social media or something like that. And have it like an actual on stream thing. That's where I prefer to do that. Mainly because I also don't have any like good pictures of myself. <laughs> so that's like also a big thing. That I have like no pictures. That I like anyway. But we are finally back home. That journey was very long. But it was worth it. We got plenty of stuff that we can use. And it is perfect. Why is it doing this? Okay, Chrome is deciding to open tabs without my permission. I don't care about your marketing. There. Just put a Snapchat filter. It makes everyone look like an angel. Um. Nah. I'd, nah, I'd rather be true to myself. <laughs> Don't need all the glamour shots. Alright. Now we finally can clear out the inventory. Oh, wait. Sticky pistons. Go with the redstone. I have plenty of redstone to work with, which is going to be very nice. I'm going to have to do my next thing is the farm. So bamboo, cocoa beans, and adding the melons. That is all going to have to be added to the farm. That's what I did. Yeah, uh, for me, yeah, for me, face reveal, I'd rather do that on stream to, like, encourage, that's where I would, like, encourage people to actually show up. It's like you guys got to the number, then come here and see what that happened. What happened. So. That's kind of how I view it. So I did, my team did a team reveal, like so like 30 people all at once. Dang. That's quite a bit that's quite a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, I don't have uh, 30 people to reveal here. Just little old me. Alright. And I going to put mm, Okay, let's put this in there. Let's take some of these the seeds. Didn't need the berries. Oh wait, do I already have coal in here? Yes I do. Might as well cook that beef up. Take this leather upstairs so we actually can make books out of that later. I have to clear out my inventory a lot right now. <laughs> 
actually, that means we can finish our bookshelves right now. Perfect. Because I wanted to put one here. Or no, I wanted to put uh, up here. Let's do this real quick. I may need... There we go. Get the planks in here. I forgot if you said anything. I do play Crunker. I just need to practice more before I stream it because I am so incredibly rusty. I played for a while and then I took a break from Crunker when I did my fall semester. So I didn't play an entire semester and needless to say I am rusty about that. <laughs> Yeah, so I want to practice a bit more before I actually stream that, <laughs> so I'm not complete garbage. Otherwise I look like complete garbage, and it, it stays that way. Let's put this one under the window, because then I can put another one here. Oh my gosh, okay. Chrome, uh, Chrome is deciding to tick me off. <laughs> Let's just work on the farm. Let's just work on the farm. So, we have our pumpkins right there. Let's cut all the sugar cane. So it's time we expand outwards. Especially for our bamboo. This is just gonna be like a temporary thing for the bamboo because eventually, like I mentioned it earlier in the stream, when we're looking at this, I plan to make something out of this cliff face. Some kind of base in here to make it look good for the farm. I would stream it self-motivation. If you stream it, you will want to be good. Yeah, I, like, I want to be good just on my own because I already will be in like Liz and Hope's customs occasionally. And I have to be good in those. <laughs> there, that's just our temporary bamboo here. But my friends did call me trash <laughs> until I made them play. Ooh. Make them eat their words. Okay, so if I want to do my melons, I may want to do them on the side of that. On this side. Cool. Oh, come on. Chrome, I don't care about what on earth you want. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm sorry, very, very angry. <laughs> I, I am actually getting annoyed by Chrome at this point. I don't know why. I don't. <laughs> nice. Well, I mean, if they've never played and they're calling you trash, yeah, challenge them. Like, fine. Let's put your word to the test. See if you are actually better than me when you've never played the game. I've done that a couple times to people. <laughs> Where somebody's been a little too cocky. And you need to be knocked down a peg or two. But that's a rare occurrence. Okay, I need to grab the dirt again. And I also need to make myself a hoe. So I can actually plant these melons. Let's put the sugar cane, because it's gonna be sugar. Okay, you know what? Okay. This is getting highly annoying with what Chrome is doing. <laughs> Why is it always near like the two hour mark? Some electronic problem has to come up and just be annoying. Always. This happened last time, but that was because the stream lagged out. But, you know, we'll just accept this. We'll just get, not get too angry about it. <laughs> For now, I just need to make this farm. And we will be all good. To make my cocoa bean farm, we'll make 
the, well, we already made the bamboo farm. But it's growing very nicely. It's already growing very quickly. Small little melon farm. Let's start off with that. We'll just add more if I need to. I need one more seed. And there we go. That for real how it is, games are usually harder than they look. It took me a long time to find that out, and good players might not look that good on recording, but don't challenge them. True. Yeah, like, games are often a lot harder than they look, and people forget that all the time. I personally had it where people... Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, personally. That is one that I've been challenged on a lot. <laughs> and, uh, it's always funny when people don't know how to run their character and challenge me to a duel or something like that. They, they doubt the skill of the person. And I'm like, just because I'm this, like, what are so and so level doesn't mean that I'm completely helpless. But people are always going to do that. Okay, let's push this one more back. I don't know why I just said it like that. And we're going to do the wall here of the. Uh, jungle wood, so you can just do a bunch of co uh, cocoa beans. And I'll probably like harvest this like once and then never again. <laughs> but, um, there we go. Okay, that's that. Now let's get the beans. There, this is a wall of 15 that works. Buy my sugar cane. The bamboo's growing. It's already nighttime. My melons are over there. I have so much stuff left over. I need to do something with this pool. I'll probably like put, like, make it deeper at one point and like add fish to it. I'll have to like design that still. But either way, something's gonna happen there. The farm is not gonna stay that little measly thing. I'm gonna revamp it, give it actual style and actual build. But we will see. Okay. Wait, let me, I need to go back inside and put this stuff. Pair it. Alright. Let's put all of this, the bamboo. Uh, for now, it will just go in here. Just for now. The oak wood goes up above. Uh, but I'm level 32. Let's see if I have, need something to need to enchant anything. I don't need to enchant that. I need to see how many diamonds I have because I may enchant like a. Uh, new pick or something. The thing that I really need though is to fight creepers on a even ground so I can get the gunpowder because I need a lot of TNT. Fish are hard. I would watch a tour tutorial except for the fact you look with the guy that makes the tutorial. <laughs> Getting fish isn't too hard. You just fill the bucket with water and then you collect the fish. And then you have a fish in the bucket and you could just drop it in your pool. But I've been playing the game a while, so I, I, I don't make tutorials though. I mean, I, I could, but I don't. But I need TNT because I need more ancient debris. I only got four. I want to get that netherite going, but I only have five diamonds. Oh, okay. What the, how's my armor doing? That's pretty good. Oh, I can enchant my helmet. I haven't done that. 
Yeah, I still need to enchant my helmet. I might as well do that, because making diamond gear right now is not the best idea. I'll need to mine off stream and off camera, or else it's going to be extremely boring. <laughs> but, yeah, let's see what we get on this helmet. Well, yeah, but last time I made one with fish, I had a river and they got stuck and I had to kill them all and restart. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about that. Protection 3, and that's it. Eh. It's only iron armor, so I, I don't really care too much. It's only, it's not like it's diamond gear. Then I had to go and find more, that is the hard part. For me, I think it's easy for me because I already found like all those coral reefs and the sea over there, so I can easily just go that direction and find all the fish and be able to just do that. So I think it won't be too hard for me to get the fish. The biggest part for me is where am I putting these fish? Because like my sp the sphere that I'm making for the downstairs base I have no clue what I'm going to be having the floating the platform floating over. Like, is it going to be water underneath? I personally think I may do water to make it like an underwater like grotto or something like that. And like under like an underground cave system with water and stuff like that. Plant life somehow growing down there. I'm still planning a lot of it. But we will see what the future holds. Plenty of carrots. Oh, I need to actually get rid of that poisonous potato because it's useless. Let's also put, let's just put all of these in the composter because then I can use them to on my melon uh, plants. Let's put that there. Okay. Oh. Okay, there, there. Let's chuck this all in. Oh, I can't put in the poisonous potato, but I can put everything else in. I can't believe I've been here this long. I'm a certified stream hopper, and I haven't hopped streams. I I am glad you haven't. It's like it's awesome to see people here. And the fact that you've stayed is awesome. I very much appreciate it. And like all the support I can get, I, I will, I will very, I'd be very happy. I'm just happy that anybody shows up. <laughs> like when I started, I was, like, I had the very low expectation, like, oh, maybe like one person's gonna show up, if even. But then, uh, all the homies have showed up in these streams, and I think that's what like shows the importance of like networking. Like, people know me in the community of like some of the str some communities that know me, and then there's those people have joined the stream, and they've been here like Dewey, to Crispy, you. It's fine, I had three viewers for a long time, then I just stopped. Yeah, I'm not expecting to be big overnight, and I'm expecting I'm probably going to lose followers while I am on the... while I'm on a hiatus, and just can't do anything, except it. so it's like, I'm expecting that, but we'll just see where everything goes. But let's just hope, I just hope for the best. It, especially like for me with streaming, it's not about growing big. For me, this is more having fun and getting to talk to people, broaden my horizons, and like not take it too too seriously. Like, if I get if I, my channel gets bigger, it gets bigger. There we go. Cool. I did something. 
but I know it's not a guarantee. I started streaming as a hobby. And th I think it, that's why it's like, I think personally, I think that's like a good mentality to have because if you're doing it as a hobby, it's because you're enjoying it instead of just going b through the motions and just going day by day, just doing your job. I had three views and like 70 followers because all the homies followed. Yeah, the homies have definitely been following and I definitely appreciate it a lot. But the thing that I appreciate the most is that they've actually come into the stream and chatted and hung out and it was a blast. And it's just been awesome to have people to talk to. So it was very imbalanced. Yeah, it's usually very imbalanced because a lot of people are like, oh, here's a follow and that's it. And then they don't ever come back. I've been guilty of that before. But, um, yeah, I've been guilty of that. It's always when you actually view the stream that it actually means more. Like, honestly, I, I'm still just surprised I've had as many views as I've had. Like, it it just blows my mind that I've even am streaming it's still. Because like I mentioned before, I have really bad social anxiety. So, talking to people is a terrifying thing. It is not something I could just randomly do on a, like like other people can. I can't just randomly go up and start a conversation with anybody. I follow people for like a day and then unfollow. I, I, I follow people and then I try to make an effort to watch them, but a lot of times when other people are streaming, it's at the same time as like one of the streams I'm having that I mod, then I need to, okay, this dirt is blocked already with the grass spread but it's a lot of times I'm modding so I need to look at that and do that but I can't be in the other person's stream and I active there because I need to focus on moderation because a lot goes into it that <laughs> a lot more focus than anything goes into it um, it's definitely a difficult job, and I mod five streams now. It, it's crazy. So that's where like a lot of smaller streamers that I follow, they happen to be streaming at the same time as like Liz or Hope or Space or, uh, and like, I can't easily get there to be there for them because I have to make sure chat behaves. I love to talk to people, but I can't deal with someone because you have to know how to shut up, yeah. Yeah, there's some people who need to not run their mouth. I agree with that. Um, yeah, anybody who's toxic, I'm, I'm out real quick. There have been streamers where I was like, I, I really enjoyed their content, and like, I was a normal like a normal viewer I was I was always there but then uh, they showed toxic true colors and I had to leave same with uh, friends yeah just people who are toxic it's better it's be like especially with what they say sometimes it's just better just leave them it's, don't let them cloud you. I've had to learn that the hard way. A lot. <laughs> <clears throat> Hold on one second. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me get some water real quick. I need some water real quick. Hold on. run my mouth all the time but my grandpa taught me to watch when I say stuff and when I don't. That's a good lesson. Oh, bless you cat. 
Yeah, that is a good lesson. He just hit me on the back of the head if I said something smart to him. Yeah. That that is a good thing to know, like when when not to say something. That not all people know that lesson, unfortunately. Some people need to not speak up about what they were saying. <laughs> Long summer. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I bet it was a long summer. But yeah. Knowing when to say things and when not to is always a good thing. When to get involved and when not to as well. It's, that's where some people need to like, it's not your business, don't get involved. I get that you want part of the drama. Oh, is that a long drink? Oh, but you're a wandering traitor. But yeah, some people just need to learn. And sometimes that lesson is a hard one. But it's gonna nip everybody in the butt eventually. Some people just have to fall harder than others. Oh, what? How long have I been going? Hey, it passed two hours. Nice. So two hours, five minutes. Nice. What time is it? It's 10.33. Okay. I think I'm going to do one more of these and then I'm going to call it a night and stream and hop off to bed because I got class in the morning. But my mom is sending me to, to work for my grandpa this summer and he I was like, he's gonna give me five dollars at the end and say, and said he would help me get a car. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I personally don't work for any family, so I don't know that uh, feeling. But I, I wish you the best. I'm 14 with a car in the future. Well, that's good. Yeah, having a car is definitely nice. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Alright, it looks like I actually broke my pick before I did this. Well, I think I will call it there. No, I was wanting to put it there. There we go. Okay, let's head on up. Let's head upstairs at the base. And then I think I will call it a night. All right. Well, I want to thank you for being here today with my stream. It means a lot to me that you stuck around to stay and that we just got to hang out and chat all the time here. Good night, hope I can come back tomorrow. Love the stream. Thank you so much, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I definitely had fun talking to you guys and just being able to hang out. But yeah, it's definitely time that I hit the hay and I go to bed. Especially considering I have a programming class in the morning. So, bye, I'll see you in like Liz and Hope's streams. And I hope to see you after house repairs are done and I'm streaming again. Waking up to ash and dust, I want